Ellip here from Creative Sound. Here with the video, I'm doing a product review. Got this analog mixer that came in the mail by the folks Phoenix USA. They sent me this mission and said, hey, we want you to do a review on this and please give your unbiased opinion. And I would do just that. Now this is the PTX 15 model. Now, when I first pulled this thing out of the box, I thought, okay, this is cool. You know, I like it. The design is, is colorful. Um, the form factor is, is perfect. I could fit this in my bag. And just as I will share the good things about it, I will also share the cons that I find about this unit. Now, this thing supports up to four mic channels, four mic inputs via XLR cable and line TRS cable or TS cable into the sockets here. There's gain control. Then you have your basic EQ functions here, your highs, your mids, your lows. And then you have effects on this thing. So you can send to effect per channel and you can control how much of it. And there's actually a fader here designated to the effects. So the overall effects channel here. And you can also pan this thing left and right for the left and right signal. You also have solo, which means that if you want to check the signal before you turn it up in the overall sound, you can activate the button here that says solo and then, but you have to make sure that you hit the solo button here right underneath the effects and turn up the phone so that you can hear what's going on. More so like a PLF or preview, just like the other mixers. And then for your overall, you know, with everything that's coming out, the entire system, there is a small graphic EQ here for further equalization. And with the effects, it's pretty basic. You have uh, 16 effects that comes on this board. I'm not saying you sound terrible, but if we just add a little bit of effects to your voice, you'll sound a whole lot better, you know? And for your main out, you only have quarter inch or TR or TRS outs. There is no XLR here. And if you shall want to run this thing through like a, another effects unit or a compressor or anything external, you can definitely send this out and return it back into the board via TS cable. Now, if you wanted to re record the performance, there is a, a record out is actually RCA connections here. So when I pull this thing out, I seen the USB slot and I'm thinking in my head like, you know, who, who will use USB now? The USB, and I noticed that the, uh, there's transport functions right right below here in the same area where you got your play, your stop, you know, skip backwards and skip forwards. Um, and, and if you have MP3 files on a flash drive, you could definitely stick your flash drive here in the slot for that purpose. And I'm thinking, yeah, there are some people who still use MP3 files, but the cool thing about this is I noticed that there was a Bluetooth icon here, which means if you click this button, you can pull out your phone or whatever Bluetooth device you have and it will read and pick it up and you just connect it. It's real simple. And the play, stop, rewind control features here, the buttons here can control the actual device. So for me, I use Apple Music. So I was able to play, stop, skip back with some forwards. So again, all you gotta do is just click the button that says red mode and it make itself discoverable and you just connect with no problem. Now for the important part. Now I was able to test this thing out. I plugged my headphones to it just to see what it sound like. Now I did notice there's like a, a, a little noise in there that, that you know, the, in, in the channel is, is a little dirty or whatever. But I mean, for what you get for the money, I mean, it's, it's fine. Like if you're doing karaoke, this thing is definitely marketed towards the people like with small bars or if you got a small setup, a meeting room, like in a conference room or something like that. Or uh, if you're an artist or a musician, you want to use it for uh, uh, practicing, you plug in a guitar, uh, plug in a couple of mics just to get a, get a more so of a amplified sound. And this thing works really great for that. Like I say, it has 48 volts a fan of power here so I was able to connect my mic to it and it powered up just fine with no problem. Now the con about this thing is that um, being unbiased right the build quality here seems to be made out of plastic. I mean it, it feels durable to me but the knobs and the fader seems to be a little flimsy in my opinion. Um, so 
you have to be very careful about how you handle this thing because you could definitely it feels like you can bend something or crack something the faders here look like it, it was a unfinished design but it looks cool at the same time you know that's it's just depends on your taste to be marketed towards the professional world the build quality i'm not sure if if i if, if this won me over as far as the, the quality but i mean it seemed like a solid unit it works if you're not one that's traveling you know back and forth with this is it something that i'm willing to use of course i i, I think it has a spot in my studio where i can utilize this thing absolutely would i refer this to someone and that's the question there. I, I'm not sure if I will refer this to someone. Now, it being small, this form factor is great, but the one thing that is missing is auxiliary. I'm not able to send to an auxiliary. So if you're one that want to use this and you want to send it, especially for like recording, I did state that there was a recording out on here, but I'm not sure if this thing is really set up for recording because with the auxiliary channel, you are at least able to send a certain amount of audio to that auxiliary and you have a main auxiliary or a, a, a fader to control the, 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 the output of the recording. So say you have a camera and you're recording the speaker or something like that and you want to send audio you know say like mic one and two and then maybe three you don't want you, you you can't control that here because there's no auxiliary out or sending out to the camera or your recording device however if you're not looking for that then this unit definitely fits you so if i had to rate this unit i would give it three and a half notes and that's just based on what i mentioned earlier about the build quality it's a little flimsy to me. I, I I don't know if this is something I would recommend, but again, it just depends on who you are. I did mention that it doesn't have auxiliary outs on here, but again, that, that's just based on preference, so I wouldn't even put that in there. But the major caveat for me is that you can sync this with your phone and play through it. So it definitely works for a karaoke night, which means you don't have to find a cable to plug in this thing in order to play out. You can sync it through Bluetooth. That's what's up. I hope you enjoyed my unbiased review. Again, my name is Ella from Creative Sound. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Mm -hmm.